like to add on to this study that I did back here three months ago on the fifth kingdom of Satan, where I got into the thing of the merger of iron and miry clay, iron being a reference to Rome, miry clay to the Jewish people, to Israel, land of Israel. I proved it in the study. You can watch the study if you want to see more proof of this. Um, but more information is coming to light. The Lord's revealing more things to me. Uh, my wife was reading a book about the royal family in the UK, and um, there's definitely some mingling there going on. And she said that this weird thing happened back many years ago where um, Princess Diana danced to Billy Joel's song, Uptown Girl. And right here's a screenshot from that. I'm not going to play the video or whatever else, but hardly uh, something that a royal would do. But the interesting thing about this thing of Billy Joel and his song, because I've, I'm familiar with the song, it would play, you know, classic rock stations or whatever else. And I'd hear it, you know, back when I was growing up. And uh, I got to thinking about the lyrics. I thought, how does that song go? And uh, here's the actual video of it. I'll get back to this little thing here in a minute. But um, here you have just a Uptown Girl by Billy Joel. And um, they don't spell it right here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. It says, Uptown Girl. She's been living in her Uptown world. I bet she's never had a backstreet guy. I bet her mama never told her why. I'm going to try for an Uptown Girl. She's been living in her white bread world. I read that. I thought... I don't think that they spelled bread correctly. <laughs> uh, what is a white bread world as opposed to a wheat bread world or rye bread world? Uh, no, that's not the right spelling there. Okay. Uh, phonetically, yes, but no, that's not what it refers to. If you go to this one here, they actually have it correct. She's been living in her white bread world right there. White bread world. As long as anyone with hot blood can, now, and now she's looking for a downtown man, that's what I am. Now, on the surface you say, oh, it's just a poor guy and he's going after this white girl. Uh, no, actually, that's not true. Uh, what it's talking about is the fact that Billy Joel is a Jew and the white bread girl is actually a wealthier white girl. Now, isn't that racism? Isn't it? I mean, if I said I'm looking for a girl that's been black, uh, bred in an all-black world or something, I mean, black bread world, I'm um, looking for a, you know, Spanish bread girl or something, you know, you're making a difference between the races there. So, see, the, the argument with integrationists is that we see no difference in race. And so you just marry whoever you want to marry. It's not a big deal. No big difference. Uh, then why would he say that in the song here? White bread world. And uh, as long as anyone with hot blood can, why would you say you have hot blood? Almost, you know, is it a reference maybe to stolen blood? Like a hot car or is this item's hot? You stole the blood from other people, you're mingled? I'm sure nothing like that. I'm getting too conspiratorial right now. But here's the interesting thing. Um, here you have Christy Brinkley. Okay, you say, what does this have to do with anything? We'll, we'll see. Um, talks about her, here she's been a harlot and whatever else posing and things but it says uh, Brinkley went on to work as an actress blah, blah, has been married four times including the musician Billy Joel huh having appeared in several of his music videos hmm Christy Brinkley in some of the music videos let's go back here there she is right there there she is right there and, you know, he's singing the thing about this song of, you know, she's been living in her white bread world. She pulls in in this fancy car and the car is driven. Uh, see if I can get to it here by a black chauffeur. And he's looking at her, hmm, you know, no longer just a servant. You know, he's now he's uh, looking at that white woman. Yeah, maybe this will get some of this white girl here or whatever else. And then she's, you know, here in, in the they're all. You know, dancing together and things, which understand what dancing is in Hollywood. There's a, some symbology there, but, you know, dancing together. And then at the end, she rides off with him on the motorcycle. Um, but it's just oh, it's just personal preference and everything else. It's This has nothing to do with them coming into positions of power and being able to sell more albums and she getting into better 
positions and whatever else. And, and she basically, they just kind of said, oh, you know, she moved on to somebody else after him. I'm getting divorced. And they said, okay, we'll just remain friends. And, you know, you, you're advancing your career. Yeah, go ahead. You know, <laughs> but uh, kind of weird. But it says here, early life. Uh, Brinkley was born Christy Lee Hudson in Monroe, Michigan on February 2nd, 1954, the daughter of Marjorie and Herbert Hudson. Her family moved to Canoga Park, Los Angeles, California, where her mother, Marjorie, later met and married television writer Donald Brinkley in Bel Air, Los Angeles. Donald adopted Christy and her brother, Greg Brinkley, and then it goes on and whatever else there. But um, this, who's this Donald Brinkley guy? Well, you go to ethnicity of celebs right there and it says here that um, ethnicity German Irish English Scottish Christy Brinkley is an American model actress blah blah the whole thing um, she has German Irish English and Scottish ancestry let me zoom in on this here um, German Irish English and Scottish ancestry Christy is the daughter of Marjorie Bar Marie Bowling and Herbert Hudson her stepfather, who adopted her, was tele television writer, director, and producer Don Brinkley. Don was Jewish. His family's original surname was Brinkman, not Brinkley. Jewish. Huh. So her mother married a Jew, a Jewish TV producer. And that wouldn't have had anything with her becoming famous eventually, I'm sure. Just conspiratorial stuff. And there's Billy Joel. And uh, what's it say about him? Place of birth, birth, the Bronx, New York City, New York. Ethnicity, Ashkenazi, Jewish. Hmm. Interesting there. So this whole thing of this song uh, uh, about I'm going to try for an uptown girl. She's been living in her white bread world. Well, she was white. And he marries this white girl, and I believe it was to advance his career. Well, just as uh, her mother, Christy Brinkley's mother, married a Jewish man, Brinkman, and changed his name to Brinkley and uh, got money that way. Just an interesting thing. And uh, this video right here uh, by Mark Dice puts out some decent stuff. I don't agree with everything that the guy says, but he gets into this whole thing of why are television commercials integrated, integrated, sodomite couple there, and just integrated, integrated, all these different things. According to TV car ads, fully 86% of Americans are interracial couples who spend their week weekends camping with outdoor theater setups, according to the TV commercials. So why are they why are they constantly showing integrated interracial couples? Almost like there's an agenda there or something. I don't know. And then you know here you have uh, this is I thought this was interesting. State Farm commercial, older ones. It's a white guy there answering the phone, and then it switches now to a black guy. If you don't understand the whole anti-white thing in Hollywood and they're trying to miscegenate and trying to blend the races behold our newest ad campaign tasty are you sure this will help us sell more burgers and he says burgers it's not what they're trying to sell in other words they're trying to sell interracial relationships but I'll play this thing here from this comedian Chris Rock which I'm not a fan of Chris Rock at all but just listen to what he says it's interesting okay so, you know he's funny. Comedian Chris Rock joked in his latest Netflix special that he even feels bad for white people because there aren't any more white couples in commercials anymore, adding this. What would make white men think they lose in the country? What, what, what? What, because there's no more white couples in commercials? <laughs> there's no black couples either. Every commercial has a mixed race couple. Everything. Yeah, the brand... So, black comedian, lost comedian, and he, you know, is making jokes about it. So, just absolutely insane. But if you understand history, 
the anti-miscegenation laws were overthrown in 1962, I think it was, by these two men here, Robert Bauer and Philip Hirschkop, um, both Jesuit-trained lawyers, and both Jewish. Huh. Again, my sermon that I did. You get in around here, the potter's clay issue. Um, it's the scriptures. It's what the Bible says. They mingle. The miry clay mingles with the iron. The Roman. It's a mingled kingdom. The fifth kingdom is mingled. It's happening right before your eyes. Um, and I know people get upset at me. Oh, I don't agree with you on the interracial marriage thing. and brother. It's more than just preference and whatever else. And I, oh, I hate certain people of another race, and that's why I don't want to marry them. That's not it. That's not the issue at all. It's an agenda. And let me ask you a question out there if you're for the whole interracial marriage thing and integration. Integration is the real issue. It's not so much interracial marriage, it's integration. Um, will the Antichrist build his kingdom, the New World Order, through integration or segregation? So what about the Nazis? Somebody will probably put that in the comment section. Oh, the Nazis, they tried to build the Third Reich through uh, segregation, a segregated society. Um, well, first and foremost, they failed. I'd like to point that out. Um, secondly, they have been demonized by the world. So if that was some kind of a, the, the true agenda is segregation or something, then why is it hated by the world? Um, no, and, it, and of course the Nazis didn't do it the right way either. What they were trying to do with, you know, German bloodlines and whatever else, they, they had, you know, papal Juden in the, you know, Nazi high command. So no, that's not true. I mean, you can look at, uh, there's a number of different uh, YouTube videos on the thing of, you know, Jews that were in Nazi high command positions. So, so much for that whole theory that they were anti-Jewish. Uh, you know, there's issues there, a lot of different things going on. But the, the fact of the matter is you look into the thing of Soviet Russia, and I remember in, in school it was just kind of everything was the Nazi Germany. Nazi Germany, worst thing in the 20th century, it was just terrible. Uh, what about communist Russia? Yeah, that was bad. But okay, let's get back to Nazi Germany. <laughs> Wait a second. No. Um, Ten times as many people died in communist Russia, far more than died in the Holocaust, and yet it's barely mentioned to, to people. Um, again, there's a whole lot of issues here, but the Bible teaches Genesis chapter 9 through Genesis chapter 11. Um, that's where the Bible, the whole thing of the Tower of Babel after the flood, God says to the, to the different sons, Go out, spread out. I want you to go, and God creates the different races. He separates the children of men at that point in time. They say, now let's stay together. Let's build the Tower of Babel, the first New World Order. God comes down and confounds their languages and spreads them out. God created races. God created ethnicities. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's a creation of God. Just like you go out into the woods, you see lots of different types of birds. God doesn't say, I just want one type of bird. There's only one bird, and that's all I care about. He wants diversity. God wants diversity among people as well. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay? It doesn't make you a racist if you say that there should be differences in things. No, it just means you have common sense. And this integration agenda is just so prevalent. And it's, I mean, you get into the Google artificial intelligence stuff, you type in things. It's you know, coming up with integration all the time. I mean, it's just insane. And they're just cramming it down everybody's throats. It has to be integration, integration, integration. That is not a Bible-believing stance to take. It simply isn't. So that's why I stand against the whole thing. Again, people can call me racist. They can say I'm teaching doctrines of devils, forbidding to marry and whatever else. You don't know what you're talking about. And you're bearing false witness against me, and you will answer for that. There's an, an evil, satanic agenda with this whole integration movement. I can promise that. That's what the Antichrist is going to do to bring in all people. The Antichrist himself is mingled. Okay? Uh, he, there's different things there. He's going to represent, I think it'd be a representative of all three basic kindreds. Japheth, Shem, and Ham. He's going to be integrated. So, um, just thought I'd bring that whole thing out. Just really blew my mind that, you know, this Billy Joel song, you know, this song thing, Uptown Girl, and they're just right in your face, just putting it right in your face, Jew with a white woman there, an uptown girl. She's been living in her white bread world. She's been bred to be white, which she was. 
uh, stepfather was a Jew, but then she goes off and she marries a Jew. And they're just right in your face. Right there it is. And you have Christians that would say, well, there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's great and wonderful and whatever else. I mean, okay, what's your tribe? They're Billy Joel. What tribe are you part of? What tribe did you descend from? Well, that's right, you can't trace it back now. How sad. How many Jews have despised their birthright, given up their tribal affiliation, the tribe of Levi, the tribe of Benjamin, the tribe of down through? They can't trace it back now because they've mingled. They're now miry clay according to the scriptures. Be careful what you're standing for, brethren. You really need to be careful. This is a much bigger issue than most people realize. It's far bigger than interracial marriage and people falling in love and whatever. There's a big satanic, you know, system that this whole thing is part of. All right. And if you watch one of my videos I did too, I forget which one it was, but um, I did this thing here, the anti-miscegenation laws, Sodomite marriage and the Jesuits. I think actually this is the one where I got into it and I actually showed um, the woman the black woman, the loving versus Virginia thing, and she said that if you know if it wasn't for the anti-miscegenation laws being overthrown, this woman right here, she said it when she was older. She said if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't have been able to be okay with sodomy. See, it's, see, it started with the interracial marriage laws being overthrown. It was illegal up until 1962 because you had people that feared God and read the Bible back then. All right, there's no hatred. Okay. Again, only hatred of sin. That's the whole thing with a true biblical segregation standpoint. So you can watch my other videos on it. Um, please study it more. Please understand it. It is a very big part of the whole New World Order system. That's why it's so popular with the world to put this integration stuff just constantly. And you can see it in ads. I mean, I could I could pick up any, any news people. Here, let me do it. Just now thought about this sportsman guide uh, catalog, and you got a uh, black guy on the front cover fishing. You know, mostly marketed to white people. Well, okay, fine. You know, I'm not against black people fishing. I met actually some really neat guys years ago, black guys that were fishing, and you know, talked to them for a while and, and gave them some advice. They're great to get along with. Um, again, I, there's no hatred there. Um, but you know. Look at the different models down here. Why do they have to have a bunch of different races there? And this is just a catalog, you know. I mean, you can see it in advertisements all over the place with different things. You got that guy there, and over here you got a bunch of white, you know, white girls and and things. It's just it's all over the place. And that's just one thing. I mean, like I said, just look at any kind of ad out there, any kind of commercials or whatever else. It's just integration, 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 because it's part of Satan's system. It's just the way that it is. So that is going to be it. Thank you very much for watching.